Hello, I'm Chris Menard. PowerPoint has a cool feature on it. Next time you need to get ready for a PowerPoint presentation, you need to rehearse, you can do Rehearse with Coach. This works in PowerPoint for the desktop with Microsoft 365. It also works on PowerPoint for the web. This video is going to cover using it in the desktop, but it works the same on the web. Just to prove you have it on the web, I'm going to open up my web browser. I already have a PowerPoint running. If I click on Slideshow, here is Rehearse with Coach. So there it is for the web. Back in the desktop version of PowerPoint, to keep this easy, I only have five slides. I'm going to do this intentionally. What the Rehearse, uh, what rehearse with Coach will do will tell you your pace. Are you too slow, too fast? It will also show you are you using any filler words. We use filler words all the time. Um, uh, like, those are filler words. It'll tell me if I'm using too many, but really important, and the most important one to me, am I reading from my slides? It's going to tell me that. When I'm done, it'll give me a report. So let's go ahead and get started. Slideshow, rehearse with coach. Now it launches your PowerPoint presentation. And in the bottom right corner, so it hasn't started yet, live feedback as you rehearse. I haven't changed this. This is the default setting. I like to see the real-time feedback. So here we go with start rehearsing right now. I'm going to intentionally do some filler words at the beginning. Then I'm going to just jump to slide five and start reading slides so you can see how this works. So start rehearsing. Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Uh, like, thank you for having me to your event. Like, uh, I'm going to discuss Word and Excel, some stuff you should know about Word, data analysis, how to do pivot tables, filter and sort, and then I would go into detail about those. So, so far, I believe I'm doing okay. I would discuss Microsoft Word. Here we go. I'm going to read some slides to you. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point when you click online video. You can paste in the embedded code. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, thank you. Originality. That sounds pretty good. It's also telling me that one, my speaker's running, as you know. It's telling me how many seconds I've gone into this uh, presentation. Uh, and it's also telling me, uh, like I'm on slide five of five and I'm done. Let's see what happens. I feel like my pace was okay because I usually do between 120 to 150 words a minute. And sure enough, 129 words per minute is my pace. Uh, average pace over time, this is kind of cool right here. Total time spent. What I like about total time spent is if someone says, if it's you and then another person and then another person and you have 15 minutes to present, you should probably only pl plan on presenting for about 10 minutes and leave room for questions. Because if you present for 15 minutes and then you go over with questions, then you throw the whole thing off. Oh, I didn't do any sense little phrases. That would be if I kept saying fireman, congressman. Uh, also, I'm not going to do it, but if you had any profanity in there, it would tell you uh, try to avoid profanity, which I recommend too, by the way, in your presentation. You can rehearse as many times as you want to. If, by the way, you're doing sensitive phrases, I'll actually tell you that in the little window down at the right. Anyway, cool feature. So next time you have a PowerPoint to get ready for, uh, open it up, go to Slideshow, hit Rehearse with Coach, PowerPoint for the desktop, PowerPoint for the web. Let me know if you have any questions about this feature. Have a great day. Thank you.